Anakin was glad the vast vaulted temple hallway was deserted save for him and Obi-Wan. He didn't have to keep his voice down. This is outrageous. How can they do this? How can they not? Obi-Wan countered. It's your friendship with the Chancellor, the same friendship that got you a seat at the Council, that makes it impossible to grant you mastery. In the Council's eyes, that would be the same as giving a vote to Palpatine himself. Anakin waved this off. He didn't have time for the Council's political maneuvering. Padme didn't have the time. I didn't ask for this. I don't need this. So if I wasn't friends with Palpatine, I'd be a master already? Is that what you're saying? Obi-Wan looked pained. I don't know. I have the power of any five masters, any ten. You know it, and so do they. Power alone is no credit to you. Anakin flung an arm back toward the council tower. They're the ones who call me the chosen one. Chosen for what? To be a dupe in some slimy political game? Obi-Wan winced as if he'd been stung. Didn't I warn you, Anakin? I told you of the tension between the Council and the Chancellor. I was very clear. Why didn't you listen? You walked right into it. Like that ray shield trap, Anakin snorted. Should I blame this on the dark side too? However it happened, Obi-Wan said, you are in a very delicate situation. What situation? Who cares about me? I'm no master. I'm just a kid, right? Is that what it's about? Is Master Windu turning everyone against me because, until I came along, he was the youngest Jedi ever named to the Council? No one cares about that. Sure they don't. Let me tell you something a smart old man said to me not so long ago. Age is no measure of wisdom. If it were, Yoda would be twenty times as wise as you are. This has nothing to do with Master Yoda. That's right. It has to do with me. It has to do with them all being against me. They always have been. Most of them didn't even want me to be a Jedi. And if they'd won out, where would they be right now? Who would have done the things I've done? Who would have saved Naboo? Who would have saved Kamino? Who would have killed Dooku and rescued the Chancellor? Who would have come for you and Alpha after Ventress? Yes, Anakin, yes, of course. No one questions your accomplishments. It's your relationship to Palpatine that is the problem. And it is a very serious problem. I'm too close to him? Maybe I am. Maybe I should alienate a man who's been nothing but kind and generous to me ever since I first came to this planet. Maybe I should reject the only man who gives me the respect I deserve. Anakin, stop. Listen to yourself. Your thoughts are of jealousy and pride. These are dark thoughts, Anakin. Dangerous thoughts in these dark times. You are focused on yourself when you need to focus on your service. Your outburst in the council was an eloquent argument against granting you mastery. How can you be a Jedi master when you have not mastered yourself? Anakin passed his flesh hand over his eyes and drew a long, heavy breath. In a much lower, calmer, quieter tone, he said, What do I have to do? Obi-Wan frowned. I'm sorry? They want something from me, don't they? That's what this is really about. That's what it's been about from the beginning. They won't give me my rank until I give them what they want. The Council does not operate that way, Anakin, and you know it. Once you're a master, as you deserve, how will they make you do their bidding? Yes, I know it. Sure I do, Anakin said. Suddenly, he was tired. So incredibly tired. It hurt to talk. It hurt even to stand here. He was sick of the whole business. Why couldn't it just be over? Tell me what they want. Obi-Wan's eyes shifted and the sick fatigue in Anakin's guts turned darker. How bad did it have to be to make Obi-Wan unable to look him in the eye? Anakin, look, I'm on your side, Obi-Wan said softly. He looked tired, too. He looked as tired and sick as Anakin felt. I never wanted to see you put in this situation. What situation? Still, Obi-Wan hesitated. Anakin said, 
Look, whatever it is, it's not getting any better while you're standing here working up the nerve to tell me. Come on, Obi-Wan. Let's have it. Obi-Wan glanced around the empty hall, as if he wanted to make sure they were still alone. Anakin had a feeling it was just an excuse to avoid facing him when he spoke. The Council, Obi-Wan said slowly, approved your appointment because Palpatine trusts you. They want you to report on all his dealings. They have to know what he's up to. They want me to spy on the Supreme Chancellor of the Republic? Anakin blinked numbly. No wonder Obi-Wan couldn't look him in the face. Obi-Wan, that's treason. We are at war, Anakin. Obi-Wan looked thoroughly miserable. The Council is sworn to uphold the principles of the Republic through any means necessary. We have to, especially when the greatest enemy of those principles seems to be the Chancellor himself. Anakin's eyes narrowed and turned hard. Why didn't the Council give me this assignment while we were in session? Because it's not for the record, Anakin. You must be able to understand why. What I understand, Anakin said grimly, is that you are trying to turn me against Palpatine. You're trying to make me keep secrets from him. You want to make me lie to him. That's what this is really about. It isn't, Obi-Wan insisted. He looked wounded. It's about keeping an eye on who he deals with and who deals with him. He's not a bad man, Obi-Wan. He's a great man who's holding this Republic together with his bare hands. By staying in office long after his term has expired. By gathering dictatorial powers. The Senate demanded that he stay. They pushed those powers on him. Don't be naive. The Senate is so intimidated, they give him anything he wants. Then it's their fault, not his. They should have the guts to stand up to him. That is what we're asking you to do, Anakin. Anakin had no answer. Silence fell between them like a hammer. He shook his head and looked down at the fist he had made of his mechanical hand. Finally, he said, He is my friend, Obi-Wan. Yes, Obi-Wan said softly. Sadly, I know. If he asked me to spy on you, do you think I would do it? Now it was Obi-Wan's turn to fall silent. You know how kind he has been to me. Anakin's voice was hushed. You know how he's looked after me. How he's done everything he could to help me. He's like family. The Jedi are your family. No. No. Anakin turned on his former master. No, the Jedi are your family, the only one you've ever known. But I'm not like you. I had a mother who loved me. And a wife who loves me, he thought. And soon, a child who will love me too. Do you remember my mother? Do you remember what happened to her? Because you didn't let me go to save her? He finished silently. And the same will happen to Padme, and the same will happen to our child. Within him, the dragon's cold whisper chewed at his strength. All, All things, things die, die Anakin, Anakin Skywalker. Skywalker. Even, Even stars, stars burn, burn out. out. Anakin, yes, of course. You know how sorry I am for your mother. Listen, we're not asking you to act against Palpatine. We're only asking you to monitor his activities. You must believe me. Obi-Wan stepped closer and put a hand on Anakin's arm. With a long, slowly indrawn breath, he seemed to reach some difficult decision. Palpatine himself may be in danger, he said. This may be the only way you can help him. What are you talking about? I am not supposed to be telling you this. Please do not reveal we have had this conversation to anyone. Do you understand? Anakin said, I can keep a secret. All right. Obi-Wan took another deep breath. Master Windu traced Darth Sidious to 500 Republica before Grievous' attack. We think that the Sith Lord is someone within Palpatine's closest circle of advisors. That is who we want you to spy on. Do you understand? A fiction created by the Jedi Council. An excuse to harass their political enemies. 
If Palpatine is under the influence of a Sith Lord, he may be in the gravest danger. The only way we can help him is to find Sidious and to stop him. What we are asking of you is not treason, Anakin. It may be the only way to save the Republic. If this Darth Sidious of yours were to walk through that door right now, I would ask him to sit down and I would ask him if he has any power he could use to end this war. So all you're really asking, Anakin said slowly, is for me to help the Council find Darth Sidious. Yes. Obi-Wan looked relieved, incredibly relieved, as though some horrible chronic pain had suddenly and inexplicably eased. Yes, that's it exactly. Locked within the furnace of his heart, Anakin whispered an echo, not quite an echo, slightly altered, just at the end. I would ask him to sit down, and I would ask him if he has any power he could use to save Padme.